With numerous candlestick patterns available, traders often find themselves overwhelmed by overanalysis when determining whether a specific candlestick indicates a viable entry point. Moreover, have you experienced entering a trade that initially appeared favorable only to exit prematurely? It's frustrating to close a position prematurely, only to witness the trade continue in the anticipated direction after exiting. Let's acknowledge the reality. As traders, we face numerous factors to analyze simultaneously. Delaying the decision to enter a trade due to complex entry rules can result in missed opportunities. Similarly, exiting a position too early can adversely impact long-term profitability. But imagine having a straightforward method to precisely time your trade entries and exits without the need for complex analysis. This is where Heiken Ashi bars come into play. By utilizing Heiken Ashi bars, you can streamline your trading process and make more informed decisions about when to enter or exit trades. In this video, I will introduce you to an advanced Heiken Ashi strategy that simplifies the process of entering and exiting trades, enabling you to identify the optimal timing for your trades with confidence. And now, what is the Heiken Ashi technique? The Heiken Ashi technique is a Japanese candlestick-based technical trading tool that utilizes candlestick charts to represent and visualize market price data. It is employed to identify market trend signals and forecast price movements. The Heiken Ashi method utilizes average price data to filter out market noise. The absence of market noise results in a clear illustration of market trends and direction, aiding in determining potential price movements. This trading technique assists traders in identifying when they should hold onto a trade, pause a trade, or recognize if a reversal is imminent. Traders can adjust their positions accordingly, either to avoid losses or lock in profits on the chosen position. The Heiken Ashi trading technique was developed by Munahisa Hama in the 1700s. While sharing some characteristics with traditional candlestick charts used in trading, it differs in how values for candlesticks are computed. In Japan, Heiken means average or balance, and Ashi means bar or foot. Thus, Heiken Ashi translates to average bar aligning with the trading technique's utilization of the security's average price. Understanding the distinction between Heiken Ashi and traditional candlesticks, the primary contrast between the traditional candlestick chart and the Heiken Ashi chart lies in the methodology of data representation. While the former relies on open, high, low, and close prices, the latter employs a modified formula based on two period moving averages. This modification results in a smoother chart in Heiken Ashi, facilitating easier identification of trends and potential reversals. Additionally, Heiken Ashi charts tend to obscure gaps in certain price data contributing to their smoother appearance. In the comparison provided, the left chart showcases traditional candlestick bars, whereas the right chart displays Heiken Ashi bars. The visual disparity is evident, with the Heiken Ashi bars appearing noticeably smoother. This enhanced smoothness is a characteristic feature of Heiken Ashi charts, attributed to their unique computation method utilizing moving averages. By elucidating these differences, traders gain a deeper understanding of the distinct advantages offered by Heiken Ashi charts, particularly in terms of trend identification and chart clarity. This is why some Forex and stock traders prefer to use Heiken Ashi candles as it diminishes the chart's noise, enabling clearer trend analysis. What sets Heiken Ashi apart from traditional Japanese candlestick charts is how prices are displayed in terms of opening and closing values. Upon closer examination of the Heiken Ashi chart, one would observe that each Heiken Ashi candlestick begins from the middle of the preceding candlestick rather than from the level where the previous candlestick closed. This behavior of Heiken Ashi candlesticks is attributed to their unique calculation method. If you're interested, here's the calculation. First, Heiken Ashi close equals average of open, high, low, close. Second, Heiken Ashi open equals midpoint of the previous Heiken Ashi bar. Third, Heiken Ashi high equals highest of high, ha close, Heiken Ashi open. Fourth, Heiken Ashi low equals lowest of low, ha close, Heiken Ashi open. However, it's unnecessary to memorize this formula or delve into its intricacies. Understanding it won't necessarily enhance your profitability in trading. The primary purpose of this calculation is to assist in identifying market trends more effectively. It's crucial to note that Heiken Ashi bars should not be mistaken for a trading system. Simply going long on bullish bars or short on bearish bars without a comprehensive trading strategy can lead to significant losses. Similar to candlestick bars, Heiken Ashi bars provide valuable information about the market, aiding traders in making informed decisions. Heiken Ashi Price Action Patterns 
When using candlestick bars, traders encounter numerous types of price action patterns, such as doji, gravestone doji, dragonfly doji, pin bars, engulfing candlesticks, and many more. The variety of patterns offers insights into market sentiment and potential price movements. However, when utilizing Heiken Ashi bars, these patterns are condensed into three main types of price action patterns. First, bullish bars. Second, bearish bars with a wick at the bottom and no wick at the top. Third, indecision bars with wicks at both the top and bottom. By simplifying the patterns into these categories, traders can swiftly analyze market conditions and make informed trading decisions. First, bullish Heiken Ashi bars. In bullish Heiken Ashi bars, you'll observe a wick only at the top of the bar, with no wick at the bottom. When encountering an upward bar lacking a bottom wick, it signals bullish momentum. Second, bearish Heiken Ashi bars. Conversely, bearish Heiken Ashi bars exhibit a wick solely at the bottom, with no wick at the top. Identifying a downward bar without a top wick indicates bearish sentiment. Third, Indecision Heiken Ashi Bars. To simplify Heiken Ashi Bars, all bars featuring wicks at both the top and bottom are categorized as indecision Heiken Ashi Bars. Regardless of the bar's color, bullish or bearish, the presence of wicks on both ends denotes market indecision. Why use Heiken Ashi Bars? Now that you understand what Heiken Ashi Bars are and are familiar with the three different types of Heiken Ashi price action patterns, you might wonder why use Heiken Ashi Bars for trading. The answer lies in its ability to simplify trade entry and exit decisions. In my years of interaction with various traders, I've noticed that the majority rely on candlesticks for their entry and exit criteria. However, there are often disagreements among traders regarding different candlestick patterns. I recall a conversation I overheard at a trading convention years ago between two friends analyzing a chart projected on a big screen. One friend remarked, this looks like a bullish hammer. I would buy here. The other countered, the body is too small, and the top wick seems too long. The debate continued with each friend pointing out different aspects of the candlestick until they reached no consensus. Engaging in such detailed analysis for every entry is not ideal. If you find yourself debating whether a particular candlestick is a valid entry or not, it might be beneficial to consider using Heiken Ashi to simplify your trade entries. By categorizing Heiken Ashi bars into three main types, I've made entry and exit decisions much simpler for you. This way, you can focus on interpreting broader market trends and making more informed trading choices. And now, how to enter into a trade using Heiken Ashi bars. While it may seem appealing to enter a long position whenever you spot a bullish Heiken Ashi bar or to go short when encountering a bearish Heiken Ashi bar, it's important to resist the urge to do so. Despite some teachings advocating for such straightforward approaches, it's essential to exercise caution and refrain from impulsive trading decisions. To gain an edge in trading the markets, it's crucial to establish specific criteria that must be met before entering a trade. This ensures a more strategic and informed approach, enhancing the probability of successful trades while minimizing risks. By adhering to a well-defined trading strategy, traders can better navigate market fluctuations and capitalize on favorable opportunities. Criteria for a long trade Criteria number one. The higher time frame must be in an uptrend. This criterion entails that the higher time frame, such as the 4-hour chart when trading on the 1-hour chart, should exhibit a pattern of higher highs and higher lows. This ensures that the broader market trend aligns with the intended trade direction, providing additional confirmation for a long trade setup. Criteria number 2. The last Heiken Ashi bar on a higher time frame is a bullish Heiken Ashi bar. The next confirmation is when the 14 period RSI line is above the level of 50. Criteria number 3. The time frame you're trading on, in this case, it's the 4 hour or 1 hour time frame chart, must fulfill both criteria 1 and 2. For a valid long trade setup, both criteria 1 and 2 must be met on the time frame being traded. This ensures alignment with the broader market trend and confirms bullish momentum, enhancing the probability of a successful trade outcome. Once these three criteria are satisfied, the ideal entry point for a long trade is signaled when the first bullish Heiken Ashi candle forms on the next day of the lower time frame chart. The next confirmation is when the 14 period RSI line is above the level of 50. Stop loss placement is then determined below the low of the current swing low, with a minimum target of twice the established trading risk.
Trade Criteria for Short Positions with Heiken Ashi. Criterion 1. Confirm Downtrend on Higher Time Frame. The fundamental principle is to sell high and buy low. Therefore, you must first confirm a downtrend on a higher time frame, for example, daily chart, compared to your intended trading time frame, for example, 4-hour or 1-hour chart. Look for lower highs and lower lows in price action on the higher time frame chart. Imagine this is identifying the overarching bearish trend you're aiming to ride within your shorter time frame trades. Criteria number 2. The last Heiken Ashi bar on a higher time frame is a bearish Heiken Ashi. The next confirmation is when the 14 period RSI line is below the level of 50. Criteria number 3. The time frame you're trading on, in this case, it's the 4 hour or 1 hour time frame chart, must fulfill both criteria 1 and 2. For a valid long trade setup, both criteria 1 and 2 must be met on the time frame being traded. This ensures alignment with the broader market trend and confirms bearish momentum, enhancing the probability of a successful trade outcome. Once these three criteria are satisfied, the ideal entry point for a short trade is signaled when the first bearish Heiken Ashi candle forms on the next day of the lower time frame chart. The next confirmation is when the 14 period RSI line is below the level of 50. Stop loss placement is then determined above the high of the current swing high, with a minimum target of twice the established trading risk. As you can see on this chart, by using the trend indicator lines I've applied here, we can easily identify the swing highs and swing lows of price movements. It's a straightforward tool for analyzing price action trends, compared to just staring at a blank chart, which can make analysis tedious. You can utilize this analysis tool as I've provided the download link in the video's description and comments section. So, if you want to implement the exact setup of the Heiken Ashi price action trading demonstrated in this video, you can download all the templates and indicators from the description section below this video. I've included a template with the system that you can effortlessly add to your chart, automatically plotting all these indicators accurately. This way, there's no need for any additional hassle. Look for the download link in the description. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or X to show your support. See you next time.